Subscribe to Boost Up Station if you haven't. And today we are going to install ADB App Control with GUI in Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10. Okay. So these are the features of this ADB App Control. Go to the XDA page of this ADB App Control and click on this Download ADB App Control. You need to download these two things this one and this one USB driver. Okay. I have downloaded these here and you also have to download Microsoft net framework download the latest one from here click on download and it has been downloaded click to install it click on yes in the pop-up menu and it is saying that you already have the latest version of net framework if it doesn't say that you have to click on continue and install it okay now enable USB debugging in your Android mobile Watch the video in description if you don't know how to do that and install the ADB drivers from here right click and click on extract all right here itself click on extract and here's the folder right click on it and click on run as administrator click on yes in the pop-up menu and click on install driver and now just click on install and make sure your device is connected to the PC before running this ADB drivers and you can see it is saying ADB driver successfully installed. Click on OK and close it. Now after installing the drivers, close it. And we have downloaded this zip archive. OK, this ADB app control. Extract it from here. Right click, extract all. Click on extract. And here it is. Now you just have to launch this app from here. Right click and click on run as administrator. Click on run. Click on yes in the pop-up menu and click on OK. Now it is loading up. Now click on OK from here. And now you can see that it is asking us for the USB debugging. Click on always allow and click on allow. It is loading and you can see. Now click on OK from here to install the app. AC Breeze, it is installing it. Now you have to click on allow. Click on OK. Now just wait for it and here we are it has successfully loaded all the applications with the correct icons and names so let us uninstall some apps from here go to the user apps and i want to uninstall youtube music this is the system app okay and this google meet so i'll be uninstalling these two apps click on select from here and click on uninstall if you don't want to keep the data in case, you just untick this option, okay? And click on uninstall. Click on yes. It is showing us because we are uninstalling the system app that is YouTube Music. And it is saying us to take a backup of the apps or not. But I don't want any backups. So I'll be just clicking on no. And it is uninstalling both the apps. And it has successfully removed both of the apps. Let me show you. Earlier on the home screen itself i had google meet so it is gone and the youtube music is also gone so we have successfully uninstalled both system as well as user apps okay so let me just show you by disabling one app like vlc i want to disable it pick vlc from here and in the select click on disable and click on disable click on yes and the application has been successfully disabled you can click more than one also click on ok and you can see that vlc has been gone from the home screen and if you want to enable the app again you have to go to the disabled app option from here clicking on the app which you want to enable from here select enable and clicking on enable will enable it up again now you can see if you scroll down here is our VLC earlier it was not after disabling it. You can also manage the permissions of particular apps. I go to the user apps. Right click on this app. Click on set permissions and you can see you have a lot of permissions here. You can just enable any of you want and clicking on set permissions will set them. So it is saying that all permission have been successfully set. Click on OK. Let's save the applications list 
so that we can share with other users which applications are running in our mobile. I just want to share my user apps. So I'm just going to select select all and click on save preset and click on save from here and all the app names which are installed here are stored in this location it is right here let me show you in the app control folder you can see this presets folder click on it and here is the file where all of the apps have been listed double click to open it up and here these are right close it click on ok from here now if you want to upload files to the device to the android mobile from the pc just click on upload files from here and select the file which you want to upload i want to upload this xdm setup file click on open from here and click on yes now it is uploading the file and it has been successfully added to the download folder okay click on okay let me show you by opening the download folder it is right here in the download folder here you can see xdm setup this file so we have successfully transferred the file from laptop or pc to the android mobile now if you want to install one or many apps at once into the android mobile from the computer or you want to install split apks like dot apk s x apk and zip files then you have to copy all of the apps into this folder right here it shows install okay in this folder you have to copy all of the apps so here are the apps i am having two of them i'll be just copying them here and for the split apks you have to extract them into a folder right here separate folder for one split apk file so for that you need to download 7zip download it choose the operating system which you have 32 bit or 64 bit minus 64 launch it after it has downloaded click on yes in the pop-up menu click on install and close it has got successfully installed now you have this split apk file x apk right click on it click on 7zip and click on extract to this folder okay same you have to do for all of the other split apk files right click on it 7zip and click on extract to that particular folder and you have to just delete the file from here after extracting it so now we have these two apps and we are going to install them at once go to the adb app control and go to this option last install and you can see that we have these two apps okay just select these whichever you want you can select all and you can also drag and drop the apps into this adb app control to install them now just click on install and now it is installing both of the apps the split apk as well as this single apk file and you can see in the mobile tasker has been installed click on ok this udemy split apk is not installing maybe there is problem in something but in the install they are saying that it should work you have to paste the contents of the split apk into a folder so there is the problem in the software itself somewhere don't worry they will fix it so let's move on to download the apps from the device to the computer the apk files okay one the user apps you can go for the system apps also if you want the system apps to be downloaded but i just want user apps like if i want these two to three apps click whichever you want if you want all you can click all and select from here save and click on save now it is saving the files from here and they have been successfully saved now go to this adb folder and in the downloads you can see that we have these two apps dot apk files and here we have this split apk the airtel was a split apk file so it has been extracted into a folder and now if you want to take screenshots or write locats logs you just 
go to the console from here and click on take screenshot the screenshot has been successfully taken go to the folder adb app control and in the screenshots you should find it it cannot take screenshot don't know what problem it has they will be fixing it in the next update you can also execute the adb commands from this console menu here like adb devices you can see which device is connected and here it is our device listed so you can do a lot of adb commands here if you know them so we can do a lot with adb app control using a graphical user interface that was earlier available as the command line using the adb commands and you also don't need any root access for these so please subscribe to boost up station and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more